Okay, this is the P3 paper from October 2022. We're going to be looking at question number one here. And if you spend a couple of seconds looking at it, we can see that the first part is going to be algebraic methods. We're trying to make sure that the top function there can be rewritten and is identical to this format here. And then once we've done that, using algebraic long division, we can then look at the second part, which says, can we find the integral of that function? And that's going to be using the reverse chain rule when we get there. But let's not worry too much about that. Let's focus on part A. So for part A then, if I'm going to do the algebraic long division here, my first step is just to check this function and see that there are no issues with it. And actually there are issues straight away in the fact that I can't see anything to do with x squared. So when I'm now going to get going and do the process for this algebraic long division, having just checked that, it's going to be 2x cubed, but I'm going to put in 0x squared there, minus 4x minus 15. That should be absolutely no problem to you if you're at the stage where you're looking at past papers, then you should have seen these in part of your revision. And the actual process of going through and doing this should be something you've practiced a lot. Right, what is the process? We see how many times does x squared go into 2x cubed? It divides in 2x times. So we put 2x here, and then we're going to multiply 2x by all of this. 2x times x squared is 2x cubed. 2x times 3x is 6x squared and 2x times 4 is going to give me plus 8x. And once I've done that, then I'm just going to subtract all of this from all of this. Just be careful when you do that. There's going to be issues with signs. Um, the way that I always do it is I say, well, I know those two are going to cancel. And then I, I actually put two minuses in there just to make it a little bit easier for myself. Do whatever is effective for you. So 0 minus 6x squared is minus 6x squared. Minus 4x minus 8x is minus 12x. And then bring this 15 down, or minus 15, but bring it down, is going to give me that as my new function here. And now we're just going to be repeating the process, but this time, how many times does x squared go into whatever that function is, okay? So how many times does it go in? Uh, it goes in minus six times. What you should see here with this function is that the powers are decreasing each time. Otherwise, you have done something wrong. That should just happen automatically. So yeah, it goes in minus six times. So now let's do minus six multiplied by all of that. So that's going to give me minus six x squared it's going to give me uh, minus 18x, and it's going to give me minus 24. And then we're subtracting that again, which means that, in effect, those two will cancel. Minus of a minus is going to make a plus in both of those things. 12 minus minus 18 is 12 plus 18. Minus 12 plus 18. So minus 12 plus 18 will give me 6x. Minus 15 plus 24 will give me plus 9 here. And because I'm at the stage where this has reached a constant, or because I'm at the stage where x squared doesn't go into 6x, we now say we've finished the long division. I can now write this in the format that I wanted. So fx is equal to... That's going to be my multiplier. So that's my question. That's my 2x minus 6 there. Get rid of that. And then what we've got left is my remainder is this bit here. Sometimes it's 0. If it had been a factor, it would have been 0. But we knew we were going to have a, fact, uh, sorry, a remainder here. So it's that out of x squared plus 3x plus 4. So I need to make a comparison with what we were trying to get it to look like, and they wanted it in the format. The 2x minus 6 is fine, but...
but they actually wanted you to factorize this top part, the numerator. And I know that I've got it right now because it does actually factorize to give me a multiple of 2x plus 3. So in this particular case, a is equal to that, b is equal to that, and c is equal to that. So really quite a relief that as I'm looking at that, oops, excuse me, quite a relief that that's all worked out to be correct. Okay, let's move on to part B then. So part B, just do it down here because I've got a bit of space. Part B says, can we do the integral of fx between 3 and 5? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to integrate the new format, which is 2x minus 6 plus 3. 2x plus 3 all over x squared plus 3x plus 4 dx. So now when we're looking at this integral here, that's going to be no problem. It should hopefully be no problem. But I have got a fraction here. And so this is what I said to you at the start when I said, oh, is it the reverse chain rule? The first thing that I train my students to do when we're looking at it is to see, do we have the option where we have f dash x over fx because if we do have that dx if we do have that that's log fx and it's not going to be an accident that that's going to happen quite often and absolutely does happen here okay so when we're looking at this thing the differential of this denominator the denominator the differential of that is 2x plus 3 very clever of the examiners then that they actually made me write it in this format and actually had the 2x plus 3. They're trying to make things easier. If we'd left it as 6x plus 9, that's harder to see then that we've got f dash x over fx. But here they've really laid it out on a plate for us, so thank you to them for that. Yes, I do have it in the format f dash x over fx. I know I've got a 3 in there, but that, that's, that's no issue at all. That's just a multiple... So because of that, because they've made that so easy for us, we can now go ahead and try and integrate this thing. So if we're going to integrate this, different, uh, sorry, the integral of, let's put it in square bracket now, the integral of 2x is x squared, the integral of minus 6 is minus 6x, and the integral of 3 2x plus 3 over x squared plus 3x plus 4 is going to be 3 log. And then the function, which in this case is x squared plus 3x plus 4. All between the limits of 5 and 3 here. So now as we're going through and doing this, if that's too complicated to you, go back and look at a different one of my videos, which is actually um, explaining how to do the reverse chain rule. I've done my usual mistake. I'll leave it in, but now just go back and just check that this little bit here should be the, when we're doing it absolutely accurately, I do this in class all the time as well, it's the modulus of x squared plus 3x plus 4. And what reminded me of that was if I'm putting values in here, what they sometimes do is they'll work out to be negatives, but then the modulus will take care of it. I don't think it does actually occur with this one, but we should still be careful with what we're writing down. So all we've now got to do is put in 5 and put in 3. What I tend to do is to just make it really clear what I'm actually doing. So putting in 5 is going to give me 3 log 44 there. Minus, and then with the 3, I'm going to get 9 minus 18 plus 3 log 22 here so let's sort all that out the numbers 25 minus 30 the minus of 9 minus 18 all of that tidies up to 3 that's uh, so tidies up to 4 sorry plus 3 log 44 minus log 22 just stop and see what I've done there um, this isn't my first time doing one of these sorts of questions and quite often when they're doing the log parts, it'll be the same multiplier, in this case, three on both of them. So I can take three out as a factor 
purely so I can then write this as 4 plus 3 and log 44 minus log 22 is log 44 over 22, which is then 4 plus 3 log 2. Just practice a little bit of that last step there because um, when we're going through and doing it, I'm really focused on it, but we'll look at it now. They want it written in that format and depending on how complicated, that wasn't particularly complicated, but depending on how complicated that last bit may be, your calculator may not automatically um, default to P plus log Q. If it gives you it as 2.78321, that, that's no good to you. So that little bit of practice just at the end here is something that you need to do. Go back and look at some of the other questions I've done and that process is, is done quite a few times. Right, hopefully that makes sense for number one.